to Studio Lou. I'm Cindy. Today I'm going to share with you the first in a series of gnome-inspired journals that I've just completed. I will probably be doing a video for each one and then shortly thereafter popping them in my Etsy shop. So there's a dozen of these journals in total. This one is by far the largest. I'm calling it the Gnome Tome. Um, so I know that a lot of people are a little sensitive to vintage books being um, cut up by journalers and that sort of thing. I've had a comment or two on a couple of my videos like, oh no, you, this book is out of print. So here's the thing. Um, old books, a lot of them end up getting, you know, damaged over time and they're not always in the best condition. So this um, project definitely utilizes a few classic books that um, were old and in bad condition and wouldn't have been read and they're actually books that I also have better copies of so these were found in various thrifting adventures so please rest assured that I did not destroy any um, of these amazing beautiful classic gnome books because they're as special to me as they are to um, a lot of other people so that's why I'm doing a whole series of gnome journals because I love gnomes so much. So this is the Gnome Tome, the big book. Um, it is made from uh, the gnome book, the the iconic um, gnome book. I forget the author name right now. Um, I'll probably put the description box, I'll, I'll populate the description box with the information on the books that I've um, referenced and used in this series just for the fun of it. So this book is a big fat book. It has um, four signatures in it. Um, it's very stuffed and but it does have room for expansion so um, it's it, it has a lot in it. A lot is removable as well and a lot could be added to. So um, what I did was because the cover of the book was kind of this boring brown but it had this beautiful gold embossed gnome, um, I took this beautiful frame put it around it. It's been covered in this lovely botanical um, cover and it's been painted and it's been bound with um, a hidden, um, not a hidden, but a, a, bind, a bound spine. It's behind this is, this is a fabric. It's all been fabric bound and you, it has the visible bindings on the, the edge of the book. This is also um, fabric that I hand dyed myself in a batik method. And then the back of the book, um, it has this really nice um, woodland and mushroom gnome themed covering and this is actually a labradorite um what's the word i'm looking for a uh, pendant so you can see up close it's a beautiful labradorite pendant um so yeah that will be really pretty and that's what holds the end of the elastic binding then on the front is this nice um, knob closure and you'll see at the bottom on a few of the signatures, a couple of them, I've strung these little uh, mushrooms. So the little mushroom beads. So let's get into this journal. So this just, that can come right off, but you can just set it aside actually. And I'll just make sure I'm fully in frame because this is a large book. You can see beside my hand, for reference, it's a larger book. I will put the description um, of the overall size of everything in the, uh, in the Etsy listing when I list these books. So it looks like we are all in frame. Okay. So on the inside cover, I just left the, um, this beautiful bird paper here and just kind of painted around the edges. It was just so pretty. On uh, the first page, we have an envelope that I made um, out of an illustrated bird book. And inside of it is this cute uh, gnome journal card with this little muskrat on the back. 
And I'm going to try to go relatively quickly through these books because this one especially is quite large. So this is a book page um, by Eric Carle from A Tiny Seed and this is handmade leaf paper. You'll see throughout this journal that there are some um, fabric details on the side where I've sewn fabrics that are um, some sort of nature theme related or maybe the colors of gnome type um, environments like red with white spots like a toadstool. You'll see throughout the book that there will be those kind of accents. And this is some lovely ducks. And this page is sort of a collage. Um, there is some avocado dyed paper here. And then this is cabbage dyed illustrated um, paper. And there's this lovely gnome over here with this great mushroom uh, head, original book page imagery and a pocket with a gnome. Um, and inside is actually just this spalted maple thin piece of wood to journal on. It's just like a journal card. And on this side, um, this is a pocket that has this beautiful image and it's been sewn around and inside we have a journal card that is um, also from this original book and it's um, a picture of some uh, reindeer running through like a snowy dark landscape. And over here is actually, um, th you'll see throughout this series that I've used um, an illustrated anatomy, a Grey's Anatomy book. And because um, the pages were quite large, so they were perfect for this large journal. And then I've just acrylic painted this whole page green so you can just journal right on top of it. And then on these two pages, they're sort of married together. Um, they have two different uh, watercolor illustration um, papers that have been kind of mishmash painted. Um, and then inside each one is some ephemera. So this is again the Grey's Anatomy book. And inside this side, we've got this journal card of some gnomes. And they're fishing or feeding some frogs. And then this little um, bird's egg sort of paper folding card. And so those just both tuck right in there. I stand up my little gnome house here. And then on this side, uh, this is actually an illustrated um, plant encyclopedia page. And inside is this beautiful piece of paper um, for journaling on. And that just tucks into this upper pocket. This side we have this um, sort of side tuck with bees and on the um, that's also the illustrated plant encyclopedia and this is actually a really cute card. Um, it was from a series from my hometown Prince Edward County and this was a card series called Doors of the County. I forget the artist's name but um, at the time it was Rob uh, to our uh, bees art so someone's last name was Rob I can't remember who may have illustrated these um, but I just modified them and added a little gnome to these uh, door front door porch pictures and so that's a card for journaling and then over here we have some more illustrated birds and a little um, moon on some avocado dyed paper and this is just a botanical page, another botanical page with some mountains and some acrylic paint and a little toadstool. This side is just, um, uh, you'll see throughout the series, this beautiful nature book. Um, I've utilized these large pages and I've just kind of acrylic painted over any words that weren't really uh, necessary. So it makes for journaling space. And this side has this little gnome with a cat. Uh, this is a fun page. So this is an actual vintage photo um, of two little kids. When, uh, they're both kind of dressed maybe for like a party or for Halloween. And I just thought that it was really cute and kind of in the spirit of gnomes because it's like it's magical like dressing up and um, you know magic and all those things. So I thought it was on theme. And then it's on a piece of blown up encyclopedia, illustrated encyclopedia paper that's avocado dyed. And inside, this is actually a folded out um, picture from a beautiful nature book that I really loved. Um, 
and it is all about insects and plants and this goes through kind of the stages of the butterfly and then inside um, how to make your own wormery if you were to do like um, either for science reasons or for just feeding worms for compost it's sort of like an anthill but it's like with worms which is kind of cool and then also um, some other instructional um, how to mount insects if you were to find a, a deceased insect that you would want to mount um, as a science mounting and then some insect camouflage information so all very important information that gnomes have because of their woodland lifestyle and their relationship with nature right and this is another of those beautiful illustrated um, book pages and on this side we have a belly band with a gnome sort of clinging onto a rose and it's on the back of an illustrated um, encyclopedia, Nature Encyclopedia. Then this is a card that has a real plant that's been pressed and um, it's underneath. So this is for journaling and this is underneath um, sort of, uh, what's the word for this paper? I can't remember exactly what it is, but it's, it's an acid-free paper specifically for preserving plants. So it's been um, sealed in there. And on this side, we have a botanical illustrated pocket. This is cabbage dyed paper that I made. And this is a journal card um, with some really beautiful flowers and butterflies. And then to the center of the signature, this is just the cabbage dyed paper. It gives you this beautiful indigo hue. Um, I, I make this paper myself. And on the back is some botanical illustration from an encyclopedia that's been blown up. On this side, we have an upper tuck pocket with a moth and some um, handmade paper with real leaves in it and botanical illustration. And this is a piece of brown paper for journaling um, and it has burdock on it. And um, I've sewn it on there and both sides. It's like sack paper, brown sack paper for writing on. more of that illustration paper. Um, this is avocado dyed paper. And then this page was um, made from a vintage pop-up book about Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And I thought it's like really cute. And it's also very on theme with gnomes because they're very similar looking. So inside this belly band are two journal cards to write on. One is a photograph of a moth on a plant and the other is um, just a line drawing of butterflies. So those just both tuck in there. And on this side, it's sort of a side tuck. There's a little picture of an owl back there peeking out at you and then this is an illustration of a fawn that's kind of been crazy quilted and sewn around so you could write on the back of that and then this is another of those nature illustration pages um, this page has been covered in very crispy um, coffee dyed paper um, you'll see throughout this series that I use a lot of illustrations um, of different things on large format paper. This particular one was of um, a boat and different um, sort of blueprints for building wooden boats. So that's what this is. And over here is more acrylic painted surface um, with uh, just more botanical illustration and photography. I want to say the name of this plant, a pitcher plant, pitcher plant. <laughs> and then this is avocado dyed paper. And this side has just this little um, cross hatch of uh, a tree. And this is bird paper. Um, and then on this side, we have this little bottom tuck band that has botanical and bird illustration. And it's on more beautiful vintage botanical book page paper. And inside is um, this paper is um, corn paper. And it has um, this cute little sort of gnome child with these little mushrooms all dancing around. Then this side is um, an image of a frog. It's from a large format printed encyclopedia. It's been cut out and um, coffee dyed. And then it's on more of that sort of science illustration um, paper. And then it has this journal tag inside, which is a gnome walking with a cricket and a bunny rabbit. And it's been collaged. 
and that just tucks into this little frog here. And on this side is um, some really cute paper that's uh, sort of gnome themed, but it's all these woodland creatures and toadstools and it's really cute. And it is on the Grey's Anatomy paper. And inside is a big journal card with, um, if it's a cyanotope, but in black. Um, and it's glossy and it's um, just brown on the back for journaling. And then this page has been covered in um, a digital of mine that I've that I've uh, designed based on Audubon's bird um, vintage sort of um, images that are in the public domain. So I've kind of remastered and edited and recolorized the whole thing. It's um, a series of digital printables that I'm working on for my Etsy shop. And so I'm using them for the first time in my own journal. And I really love what it brings. It's very inspiring, very layered. And so I'm really happy with that image. Um, this is a book page from a Griffin and Sabine book, which is a beautiful um, sort of legend story. If you've ever heard of Griffin and Sabine, you can Google them. They're, the images are beautiful. Um, and then this is a jelly printed music page um, from a music book with a gnome and a squirrel. And you just open it up and there's moths up here and you can just journal away on there. And then on this side, we have um, this sort of double pocket. Um, so it's collaged with different um, papers and images that have been used throughout these journals because they use up all my scraps. You see music paper and my um, cabbage dyed paper and a little bit of a gnome paper here. Um, so yeah, I use up all my little scraps and then there's some nice flowers here. But the fun thing with this is that it's a pocket up top with, um, it's actually made from a security envelope. And um, this is a tag with a little couple gnomes dancing. And you can write on the back of that. And that just tucks in the top here. And then behind it, there's a little side tuck and it's just a little journal card with this bird. And then on this side, um, we have this fish and he's just been clipped. Um, you can write on the back of him. It's coffee dyed large format paper. And it's got this little bead here that kind of looks like a little um, bird's egg. And there's some vintage bird imagery. And he's clipped on there and you'll see his tail on the other side on top of this lovely illustration of a hawk. And then this is another Eric Carl book page from the Tiny Seed. This side we have a botanical pocket on top of more large format paper that's been avocado dyed. And this is a collage journal tag of the gnome and a hedgehog friend that he looks kind of like he's rehabilitating. Because one of the nice things is that one of the books that um, I was able to use, it's all about the relationship that gnomes have with animals and all the things that they do to help them in the wild. And it's really sweet. And this is a vintage um, bird illustration. Lots of those in there, vintage bird illustration. This is the tail of a seahorse. Um, and this is just coffee dyed paper. And a raven. And on this side we have this little wasp nest. And this is cabbage dyed um, paper with these amazing fish illustrations. And this is an original page from the gnome book of this gnome sitting on like a mountaintop in the brush with a big bunny. And the other side is a, no a gnome working in his little sawmill where he makes all of his shingles for his roof and his furniture. And this side is um, a botanical page with lots of beautiful flowers and I've just acrylic painted the surfaces with text for journaling on top of. Same on this side, but black and white. Uh, another page from that beautiful book of illustrations of nature. And then this is a really cute pocket. Um, it's sort of organically shaped and it has um, a mother bird feeding her babies and this lovely illustration of a tree. And inside we have um, a journal tag that's made from that same Snow White pop-up book that you saw a few pages back with some cute little forest creatures on it. And that's on a wildlife encyclopedia page. Um, on one side, it had these beautiful illustrations and the other, some lovely photographs of animals. 
And this is a jelly printed um, page of a vintage book. It's actually um, a music encyclopedia. And this is a little picture of a couple, a gnome and a little girl um, sitting under a toadstool. And then on this side, we have um, one of the places that I order seeds every year is Baker's um, Seed Company. And um, they send these beautiful envelopes with like very vintage illustration um, feel to them. And so I wanted to use that in some way in a nature journal or in a gnome journal. And I thought it was so just on spec with what, you know, gnomes are into. And so I put a little gnome here and I left the envelope flap here just to tuck this journal card into. Um, it has this cute gnome and it just tucks right in there. And this side is just sort of my sunflowers page. There's this lovely picture of sunflowers. So I just painted the whole thing yellow. And this page is just, um, we have a, a vertical and a horizontal belly band. This one is, has some pretty bird's eggs and it's on botanical book paper. And inside is this cute journal card with a frog mouth bird. Um, it's been collaged, it's got some apples and on the back it has some linear um, drawing of flowers. And in this one, we have this um, pine cones, this uh, pine needles, sort of a pine tree, it shows the seeds. It's like um, the whole kind of plant anatomy illustration. And inside there's two things. So one is this little piece of paper for journaling on with these cute little um, mushroom gnomes. And um, this is a collaged card that has two little toadstools sort of in a little romance. And they both just tuck in there for writing on. What I try to do with my journals is if the pages themselves can't be written on, then I give you something to write on. So you still have the visual inspiration, but there's always writing space. And then this is the center of the, what signature are we on? Signature two. And this is just a spread of incredible illustrated um, animals. And on this side is some handmade paper from Chinatown in Toronto. Um, and this is um, some, what is it? Acrylic, acrylic surface on a botanical page. And I left this book page alone because I thought it was just really pretty. It has these beautiful toadstools. Then on this page, um, we have sort of a double flip situation. So. You flip this open and you see these beautiful butterflies and you can journal away on both sides. I believe these are swallowtails. I could be wrong though. Um, and then there's botanicals up here. It's on the Grey's Anatomy paper. And then this is actually cabbage dyed um, paper that had these hens on it. And um, I sewed this, um, I preserved a bunch of ginkgo leaves and I actually sewed it right on there and it's been, um, it's, it's been Mod Podge down so it's not going to move. And you open it up and we have a sandpiper on some nice um, paper that you can write on. And then this side we have a lot of botanical stuff going on um, as through a lot of these journals. So this is a pocket and in here we have this little um, gnome card. So there's a whole series of these journal cards where there's usually sometimes something on the back. And then on the front, um, there, there was a few pages of instructions for different plant medicinal remedies. So this one's about the birch leaf and how gnomes use it for things like kidney stones. And um, so yeah, all sorts of little gnome medicine things that are very cute. And on this side, what I did was um, I used this image. This was all sort of one image that was just this incredible photograph of this flower garden. And then, um, so that's kind of like the background and the foreground here. And then the middle ground, I just took and made a band out of so that I could put a um, something to write on inside. So this is a collaged sort of envelope. And on the front, it has this, all this imagery. And that's the back. And on the inside, this is actually a security envelope as well. Um, I had this, this book that was about, um, it was a coloring book about Pan the legend of Pandora. And I just thought that was a really cute image. It's a little off topic, but it's sort of in the, in the storybook kind of theme. And so I used it because I thought it was sweet.
And then this side we have a pocket um, that's collaged and it's on a book page. Again, the Artful Dodger, Griffin and Sabine book. Um, and then inside we have this collage journal tag, again with more little gnome people. I hope no one's playing a drinking game with how many times I'm going to say gnome in this video because it's going to be a lot. <laughs> And over here we just have some raspberries, wild raspberry botanical, and more of those cute animal pictures. And this page is all about um, the anatomy of the corn plant and seed and how it grows. And I've just painted it yellow so you can journal there. And this is a fun page. So on this side, this is a vintage um, illustration uh, book of botanicals. And I use this amazing um, drawing of like the root system of a tree that's been cut underground. And so I made that into like a side pocket and it's got this little um, journal card inside. And it just tucks in there and then on this side this is a, a page from the original gnome book and it's about the how gnomes are just dis dispersed in Europe and like where they're located and so I stuck a few little gnomes on the map and again that's original book page illustration and this is more dyed paper and um, this is just a vintage botanical. I can't remember the name of this plant. Maybe it's chestnut, actually. And a little vintage bird. Coffee dyed paper. That's the other side of that seahorse you saw earlier. And then we have a little frog underwater with some plants. And this cute duck avocado dyed paper. Um, then I made this um, tuck pocket. This is from one of my seed catalogs. This one is from Richter's Herbs in Ontario. And this is a little collage journal card with this cute little gnome family. And you know, I definitely can relate to these little gnomes because this is the stage of life that I'm in right now. My husband and I, where we're both yawning and half asleep a lot of the time while our little babies are fast asleep or maybe not. But there's two little gnomes in this new gnome shaped cradle. I mean, how cute is that? And on this side, um, familiar, you'll see another of the doors of the county um, cards. And this is a front door that had these two cute little dogs here. And so I just added the gnome with a little gnome child. And um, inside, you can just write to your heart's content. And this is a fish back here on some coffee dyed large format uh, paper. And this is a map um, of Saskatchewan. And there's a little gnome standing there. You can write away on all these surfaces. And a pocket of a bird with two little babies. And inside, this is an insect illustration page from a field guide. And you can just write on the back of it. So it's got cucumber beetles on it. And then this side, I just had this beautiful music paper. It's been cabbage dyed. And this is a poppy illustration and another lovely bird and another botanical and another bird. And this is um, a large vintage paper doily that I cabbage dyed. So it's like really um, sort of like I don't know. It's beautiful. It's it's sort of rustic and, and grungy, but also really delicate and pretty. And so, yeah, that's just in there. And you can write on this, actually. And this is another of my own digitals that I've been working on um, with some uh, vintage illustration um, by, I forget his name. He's a German illustrator. Oh, Ernst Haeckel. So his illustrations are now in the public domain, which can be used for collaging. So it's really amazing. Ernst Haeckel, if you look him up, I'll, I'll link to his information if I remember to in the description box. Honestly, like he's another one of those like turn of the century, um, you know, unsung heroes of illustration. Like there's so many of these botanical illustrators, these people who were kind of like the trailblazers to depicting the science world and like the natural world. And he's definitely one of them. Um, and some botanical illustration uh, from a French nature book. And um, another page from that same book over here. 
And then on this side, we have this fabric pocket that's made from this cute, soft cotton t-shirt fabric with all these really cute animals and acorns. Um, and so that has been attached to this page, this fabric. And then inside, there's just this little trifold um, green paper that's been inked up nicely and has this little image on the inside. So you can just journal away on that. And it just tucks right in here this fabric pocket. And then over here we have this beautiful monarch. And this is on um, blueberry dyed paper that I did. Um, this is the stains from blueberries. And this is a pocket with a moth and it's on some beautiful paper that has um, all these little finches or lovebirds. And this is a collaged uh, sort of nature themed journal card with Easter egg dye paper on the back for writing on. And this side we have a couple of birds and then this lovely butterfly down here and it's a tuck on top of the Grey's Anatomy paper and this is a little history of a butterflies card for journaling on and that just tucks right into this little butterfly here. This is jelly printed paper, um, book paper. And you can just write right on top of it. And this is another page from The Tiny Seed by Eric Carle. And then this is um, just a botanical page. I've added a mullen plant here and painted over the whole thing. So you can just write right on top of it. And over here we have a little side tuck with a, a couple of gnomes. And they're sort of teaching a little lesson to a little bird and a little, it looks like a hedgehog. And inside here, this um, first of all is botanical paper um, from a vintage encyclopedia. And then more of that Baker's Seed Company packet down the side um, with a cucumber plant. And then this is like a double pocket so, or, or a double journal card. So this is a journal card that you can write on. It's been collaged on the back. Um, and then it has this pocket on the front with this gnome zipping through the mountains here in this little shell. And inside is another little journal tag that has more botanical illustration and it tucks right into the front of there, which then tucks into the front of here. So lots of writing space. Over here is just more writing space with a thistle and some other botanicals. And on this side, we have birch paper, both sides actually, that's tiny seed uh, book page and some other, the, those little, those, those helicopters. Maybe not actually, it's a different plant, but it's similar looking. So yeah, this is real birch, birch uh, bark that was um, discarded. I did not peel it from a tree. <laughs> And this is handmade paper on both sides and some botanical illustration, a, a ginkgo um, plant. You'll see, you've seen a leaf already in this journal, a real ginkgo leaf. And a couple of little gnomes playing music. Another of those animal illustrations, blueberry paper. And we have a pocket here with this little journal card inside. And on this side, we have this, another um, of these preserved plants. This one is a flower and three leaves on a waxy paper. And this opens up for journaling space. And this is sort of a curious cabinet. Um, this is more book page from the Griffin and Sabine series. And we have a little gnome hanging out in this curious cabinet. And this side, we have some gnomes under an umbrella in the rain the other side of that doily, and then a little gnome and a ladybug in a snowy landscape, a bird and another, I believe that's a chamomile plant, another bird and some cabbage dyed music paper, and a map of Ontario with this little floral. And on this side, we have this little side tuck of a gnome on the map paper. And inside we have this beautiful illustration. Um, this is a book page. And inside this is all about different paw markings and how to make casts of animal footprints. All the information is there if you want to do that. And then just some kind of squirrel and bird little, little facts about different little creatures that live in the wild. That just tucks in there. 
And over here, we're now to the last signature of the book. So this is a, a collage pocket large format paper and inside we have a double a double uh, flip envelope it's all been collaged these are two security envelopes we have these gnomes on the front and inside there's a journal card on each side so on this side we have this little bird making this beautiful nest I don't recall the name of this bird but it looks like this little gnome is going to make a visit to her maybe bring her some little seeds or berries and on this side, we have just a botanical journal card um, with all different plants. And that just tucks in here. And then this is some of the coffee dyed paper of boat blueprint. This little bird, botanical, this is coffee dyed paper. And then this is from the Pandora coloring book, just beautiful illustration both sides this one particularly with all the fungi and then we have a little card with um, this is handmade paper with real leaves and a little butterfly and then we have a spider web on the journal card and then over here we have another of those illustrated pages and some coffee dyed paper and this is a page from the tiny seed and then this is just um, composition, beautiful composition paper that's vintage. These papers, I always found that they were perfume scented. I was lucky to find one that was not. <laughs> and this is botanical encyclopedia that's just been painted to journal on. And then this is a really nice um, page that's about different plants um, that are pests and basically what nature tells you about them, pests to watch out for, how to fight back against these different kinds of um, insects and plant pests. And it's on this side as well, nature signal, what to do. And I have a side tuck here made from a seed catalog. And these lovely leaves are the theme of this page. In here, there is these lovely little bluebirds illustrated on a journal card. And then this is just a nice piece of paper to write on, on top of a, a knitting chart page. And that's from the tiny seed and up here we have this beautiful um, exotic wood strip that I that I got from um, a project I was doing with a bunch of exotic wood veneers this side we have this little jelly printed collage pocket and inside there is this little mushroom journal card from the gnomes the original gnome book and then here we have a really fun piece which is a pop-up I will turn the book so this is from the pop-up book of Snow White, and um, I just included that because I thought it was so cute. It's so nice to have a little pop-up in your journal, just for a fun little inspiration. Then on this side we have just more of the um, large format paper, and this is the tiny seed book page. And the other side of that knitting chart i just left that one maybe you want to stick pictures or whatnot on it or just leave it as is because it's really fun to look at and then this is a cute in photograph of a frog and peonies and a little succulent and just botanical paper with some writing space here and more botanical paper with writing space and then this is cute because it's the page of the tiny seed where they talk about a couple of the seasons so now it is winter now it is spring and just botanical imagery more of that lovely illustrated animal encyclopedia coffee dyed paper and um, some more of the pandora coloring book and some botanicals this cute fish and the last bird of the book except for these birds I guess and this is the original um, inside book page um, from this book and then we are at the end of the book back to that beautiful labradorite so the whole thing just closes up like this and you just pop the elastic on so that is the gnome tome 
Um, I will try to get it posted in my Etsy shop in the next day or two. So if you don't subscribe to me here on YouTube, you should because you can follow all of my gnome journal videos. If they interest you, there will be 11 more coming. Um, and obviously uh, favorite me on Etsy if you want to track when these are being posted. You can get notifications on YouTube for when I create new videos. If you hit the little bell and on Etsy, you can, um, when you favorite me, you'll get little updates when you go to your Etsy page. So um, that's what's coming this week. And thank you so much for joining me on this journal video. All of the information um, in the description box about the books that I used and some of the references I made will be there, as well as my social media, my Instagram, all of those things. So have a wonderful day. Thank you. Mm -hmm.